My name is Raymond Sweeney. I am the owner of Courier's Quality Market. We have uh, owned Courier's Market for a little over a year, and I was brought up here. Store in the Northeast Kingdom that had tons of taxidermied animals became a destination in the town of Glover until it closed. But now it's open again. For the new owner, it's a bit of a homecoming. I've worked here back in the late 80s for Jim, and I just wanted to see it keep going. This is um, really the hub. This is where everybody gets to catch up with each other, check in on each other. My husband is here, I think, every single day. It is one-stop shopping, for yeah. sure. All the country store stuff. You can come get gas, and then you can go in, you can get your stuff for ice fishing. You can uh, catch up and see what's going on. If there's any fundraisers in, in uh, town, you can get a sandwich. Everybody raves about the cooking and the food. We even smoke briskets every Thursday. You definitely will need to get a brisket sandwich on your way out. That's, you should talk uh, to Doug real quick. He's got all kinds of things. We smoke our own salt. That's a big thing we do. Also locally smoked maple syrup from Colburn Farms here in uh, Glover. Now breakfast sandwiches are pretty popular. People enjoy coming in and talking to the people that make it. It's the greatest thing. The most positive thing about owning a small business in a small area is the people, for sure. Um, the people make it. We see them every day, the same people every day. Probably one of the more challenging things is the business side that no one sees. Me and my wife do a, a, a pretty good job of it. We've retained employees for quite some time. We've probably hired five or six new people since the pandemic. Some of the small stores have closed because of big business coming in. I think it's drove them out. It doesn't have to take a Walmart very far away to, to hit that certain community. If the community is not driven to you know, support that local business. You know, a lot of people don't like the super Walmarts of the world, or our prices probably are a little different than Walmarts, but in the same token, they'll go up there and I'll hear people say, oh, you're cheaper on this this week. Or the meat, they shop here for the meats. They know that they can ask for a T-bone steak and we'll cut it right in front of them. Small communities, that's what they want. When I go get cheese at Couriers, just like I'm sure many other people, they know how to cut it the way you like it. Well, everybody knows everybody, and the best part is the small community people are always helping one way or another. You know, there's been people that come up and help me with little things around my house that I have never met until I cooked here and made them sandwiches. And, you know, we just grow friendship. It's a community-driven store for sure. Without the community support, it wouldn't be here.